before this video starts, um, this video is sponsored by me. So, go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the notification bell, so you never miss another banger banger. And, uh, now, so if you use promo code SUB right now, you get a, you get a, you get, you get a nice cookie. You get a nice big old chocolate chip cookie. That's like oatmeal raisin, dear weirdo. Um, but yeah, let's get to the video. What a do, YouTube squad? It's your boy Red Eye Rose and I'm back with another banger banger. Not today. Not today. I said not today. Bangers. Another talking video. I'm, I'm going to get back to gaming. Trust me. I'm, I'm going to get back. I'm going to get back. Um. But yeah, so. A lot of things just happened in like the past 24, 20, 24, 48 hours. A lot happened in the last 24 to 28 hours. 24, 24 to 48 hours. Um, number one, Andrew Tate got banned from who was it? You know, Instagram and Facebook. I don't know if Andrew Tate even said anything about it, but he got banned. And I seen a lot of people talking about it. And I mean, I see why he got banned. I never really gave my like opinion on Andrew Tate. I don't really do that. Cause like at the end of the day, he's an adult who, you know, he might be saying crazy things to get money. Hey, nobody knows. Um, but what I do know is bro can knock the shit out somebody for real. Like <laughs> y'all see bro fight, y'all gotta go see it, bro. That nigga was putting niggas to sleep, bro. He's like seventy five and nine or something like that. Seventy five and four. Like, bro, what the? F and he just be me, 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 knocking dudes out. I mean, kickboxing champion. Bro's disgusting. Bro's, 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 bro's disgusting. But, um, I mean, I can see why Andrew Tate got banned. Obviously, because like he uh. The things that he says, they don't really translate with women. I mean, a lot of times I don't agree with everything he says, but a lot of times I agree with a lot of things he says. It's like, you know, you know, he, but he's more, I guess, not neutral in a sense. Um, and he's more like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but he's, he's not, he's not neutral. It's more masculine. And he just says whatever comes to his mind. I mean, you can res I can respect that. I can, I can, re I, me personally, I know I can respect that because I, I say whatever comes to my mind. And it's just how I feel. Um, but yeah, he got banned. Uh, that's not really what this video is about, though. But I know I'm, I'm gonna bring it up, so I just wanna, you know, introduce the subject. Basically, what this video is about is like. I don't know. I think this video is going to be about adults and how I like my issue with adults. And I don't have like an issue with like grown adults and stuff, but just like the way they act. A lot of adults, especially. And a lot of these like social media, social media influencers, um, if you really want to call them that, people were like 100k on TikTok, me on TikTok. These dudes are not, you know, celebrities, but they're like micro celebrities, social media influencers. And, you know, it gives, it makes them think that they have some sort of power, I guess. And like me, I don't like, like a lot of, a lot of times I hear people say, oh, I, you know, I, I don't really do this internet stuff. Like if I was given like that like i wouldn't do nothing with it but if you gave like the average person let's say your older sister you know says so she really doesn't use social media like that you give her 100k followers a thousand followers ten thousand followers like she's gonna like change her old thing about it like oh like these people want something from me like I, maybe i should go out and you know like she's gonna be posting on instagram posting on tiktok posting on youtube all that um, but like, that's the problem nowadays. Like, 
Not everybody can be a social media influencer. You dig? Shit dig? Like, some people gotta be lawyers, bro. Some people gotta be, you know what I'm saying? Taxi drivers. Some people gotta be construction workers. How are we gonna get buildings built? How are we gonna get things done if everybody's a social media influencer? And that's what's like kind of happening with this young generation. And, it, and a lot of times, that's this young generation, but like, like, people like 20 to like 27 years old, 26 years old, all they want to do is become social media influencers. And if it doesn't work out for them, then they finally get a job. Like, come on, man. You don't have no passion in your life. That's what it is. They doing it for money. Because they see all these YouTubers with all this money and all these, like, I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm going to drop some knowledge on, uh, on, on y'all heads real quick. You will get nowhere in life without passion for what you do. If you have some sort of passion for what you do, like, if you have passion for um, sports and you go out there, you become a, a NBA player, I can, I can respect you, bro. Because you have passion. But not everybody become a YouTuber, bro. If you don't have no passion behind what you're doing. If you don't have... If you... Like, because, like, if you just in it for the money, people who are in it for money, if they don't get instant results, they're not feeling like continue to do it. Hey, YouTube is like a full-time job, but you got to be devoted to this. You got to want to sit down. Hold on. But you gotta have like you gotta wanna sit down like I'm doing and talk or play a game or or do your makeup. But have some type of passion for it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Have some type of passion for it. Have a reason. Cause and effect. You have a cause, the effect comes out in a, a paycheck, obviously. But if you're not willing to grind, if you don't have a passion, you're not gonna wanna wake up every day and do YouTube. I don't want to, I have a passion to like talk and play video games, react to videos. I, I like doing it. But I don't want to do it every day. I didn't do it yesterday. Yesterday I sat down. I didn't, did I do it Friday? I didn't do it Friday either. I'm not, I'm not, I don't create YouTube videos every single day. As you can see, I didn't post yesterday. I did post, I did post on Friday. I think, did I? I think I did. I think I did. But I don't post every day at all. It's not, it's just, it's, this is not what's going to happen. It's not what's going to happen. It will never be like that. I will never, ever, ever post every day. It's just, it's not. I'm going I'm to try to be my, I'm going to try my best to be consistent. Post it every day ain't going to happen. And so, uh, if you don't have any passion for what you do, then there's nothing, like, you're not going to be a, a social media influencer. And not everybody can. And not everybody has passion. And sometimes what you have passion for, you can't do on social media. Like, you can't have passion to be the mo the best construction worker ever and then start building buildings on social media. You can't, can't want to be, like, a secret agent, an FBI agent, and then start being like, all right, guys, like, we're on a secret mission to defuse the bomb. Like, no. No, you can't do it. So, not everybody can be a social media influencer, and not everybody can be a social media influencer for long. And how it works is, you gotta pick and choose your battles. Some people gotta be um, construction workers. Somebody, some people gotta be bank. You know what I'm saying? Bank tellers. Some people gotta be. You know what I'm saying? She did you like some people gotta be video game designers, right? Some people gotta be actors, some people gotta be entertainers. You got to pick your profession. You can't just do it. You can't just you can't just jump into something. You have to have the training to do it. Because if you just jump into YouTube without knowing how to edit a video, like I did for five years, like you're never gonna you're never gonna grow. It takes training, it takes time, it takes effort, and it takes it, it, it takes the ability to know what you're doing, and it, it takes the ability to, to know how you're going to do it. And if you don't have passion, you don't know what you're doing at all. So, 
if you if you want to do something, think about this. Can I get up every day and do this? Do I really want to do this? Is this my passion? Or would I rather do something else and give up this social media life? Not saying that you can't post on Instagram. Not saying that you can't post on YouTube. Not saying that you can't post on Twitter. But you can't want to be a social media influencer while doing it. You should dig. Right? Like, you can't do that. And we've seen people, like, really blow up. And then their fame gets to their head. And then now they say doing crazy things. Crazy, outlandish, just straight up downright disgusting things. We've seen it. So many times. I can't really think of an example, but I know I know if I if I really sat there here and thought about it, I could probably think of an example of somebody who just who just did something that's like so despicable and so just downright unforgivable and they lost their platform. And that's another thing. Nowadays, you can lose your platform so quick. So why would you even want to be a social media influencer? You can get canceled like that. Like it, it, it's so easy. So it, it's risk with this. I mean, I just, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it's risk with this. And so now you've done all this to really become a social media influencer. You've done this to really become what you want to do. And now you're canceled. So now people are unfollowing you because something you said 15 years ago. Does that make does that does that make what you said right? No. If you were over here saying I hate the F word, you know what I'm saying? I hate gay people all over Twitter. You're, you're wrong, obviously, but like you just built that platform up for no reason. So pick your your battles. Um uh, so it's like, you know, if you, if you, if you really want this social media stuff to work for one, you have to have passion and two, you gotta know it takes hard work. Not everybody can be a social media influencer. Not everybody can be famous. People who are famous aren't even famous. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like Michael Jackson was famous. Because everybody in the world knew who Michael Jackson was. That was like the that's the that's the epitome of fame, right there. Unless you're trying to sing to your from from the, from the time that you were born to the time you die. Michael Jackson also didn't have a life. It would it would pay people to act like norm to act normal in grocery stores. Just so he can have a normal childhood, a normal experience shopping for groceries. So, do you really want Michael Jackson's fame to be so isolated on the top of the mountain? No. No, you, you don't. I wouldn't want that. I would not. I, I wouldn't want to know, not know what it feels like to actually go to school, sit down in the classroom with your peers and not have everybody drooling over you once you become a celebrity you can't have a normal life so think about that do you want a normal life because there's going to be people that hate you there's going to be people that want to kill you because of something that you said I'm pretty sure out there there are many people that want to kill Andrew Tate right now for what he said for how he acts now Gantry Tay has something to, uh, that most people don't which is multiple years in kickboxing so if somebody really wanted to pick a fight with Andrew Tay he'd probably beat the shit out of him but it's like still so yeah you gotta pick and choose your battles. You gotta pick and choose who you want to be in life, and not everybody can be a social media influencer. Um, and a lot of these adults, they don't need, they don't need to be, because what they do is they start arguing. Like, look at that Drew. I don't, I don't know how to say her last name. Afulo is how you say it. Afulo girl. All she does is argue. 
all she does is argue with people. She doesn't do anything else. She got famous for arguing with people. She doesn't do anything else. Anything. Now, let's see Andrew Tate and Drew Fulu on the room. I would love to see that, but I, was, I would also hate to see that. Because that's just more argument. All, all, all adults want to do is argue. That's all they want to do. And it's like, all you want to do is argue. Like, that's all you do every day. Argue. Get on, you get on the internet and you start picking fights. Because people disagree with what you say. Shows a lot. Of, shows a lot about your character. It, does. it shows a lot about your character. It shows. It shows who you are, what you value as a person. Like all you want to do is argue. That's how you got famous. That's or that's how you got famous. That's how you gain popularity. Arguing. That's all adults want to do nowadays. Every all you see, remember when, remember when the girl was kicking out her her was uh not letting her baby go uh not letting her baby daddy go feed his child. She had he had to go feed the other children. Did that woman really have to record that situation? No. People love drama. That's what reality shows are. Drama filled. Uh. Y'all feel dopamine. It's, it, it's just hitting your brain. These TV networks are just throwing at you with, uh, and all you all you can do is just like, people love drama. People love it. People love it. And so, if if like all you do is argue every day, it gets annoying at some point. Like. I don't like watching people argue at all. Like it's, just, it, it's so annoying to me. I find that to be completely annoying. And um, like that's just like that's so weird to me that you want to get up and argue. You want to wake up and argue. All y'all adults do is argue every day, all day. Like, and y'all start drama, and y'all start beef, and y'all let these, y'all let people get to y'all head so much, and it makes y'all so angry, and then, you know what I'm saying, like, all y'all do is argue, it, and it gets to a point where it's like, bro, just like, shut up, it's not that serious, all right? But will people ever like just stop talking? No. <laughs> like the amount of uh, amount of times I've just been scrolling on Instagram, scrolling on TikTok, and I've seen somebody, I've seen somebody like start an argument with somebody else for no reason. The person doesn't even know the other person. They've seen them on the internet. They didn't like what they said. And so they decided to start an argument. You know what that shows about that person's character? They love to argue. And, that, and, and that's toxic behavior right there. That's, what that's, that's the epitome of toxic behavior. Where all you want to do is wake up and, and argue. And I see adults love to argue because I don't, I don't. I see kids argue before on this platform. I'm not on this platform, but I've seen I've seen people argue on YouTube, kids argue on YouTube. I've seen kids my age argue on TikTok. I've seen it. It doesn't happen nearly as much as these adults start to argue, especially these adults getting on streams and having arguments and they're getting paid for it. I'm gonna be honest with you. Half of these people that love to argue will not be or love to half of these adults on social media. That are like micro celebrities and that just, you know, say they start up drama, they will not be here the next five years. In the next five years, because people get tired of just watching the same exact stuff. Listen to the same exact points that you're making. Like, OK, we get it. You you think that abortion is bad. You think that you think that the, the rule versus Wade thing was was the best decision that America's ever made. Oh, my God. 
you said this for the past five years. We get we get tired of it. People like Young Don Sasuke, who had an actual platform and was actually like, you know what I'm saying? Making videos, making animation videos that could have lasted him because if he, like, as life goes on, you're going to have stories. And if he's animating the stories without having to act it out, it, 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 it's funny. He can have the animation be whatever he wants. He can have an animation be anime style. And it's like, he's Goku and the other person who stepped on his shoes is Vegeta and now they're fighting like but no he decided to talk about a problem that didn't even concern him because he's a man he's not a woman and it it, it doesn't matter to, to him and and instead of just like having his opinion in his brain or in private or with his wife he decides to put it on the internet and now he's banned on YouTube. Now you've lost all this. You lost your you lost your platform because you couldn't keep it to yourself because you wouldn't argue with people. Is it, it it was it was worth arguing. It was worth trying to put trying to prove your point to other people, to other human beings that don't care. That's not gonna care in the next five years, and not gonna remember you anymore. In the next five years. Oh my god. Not gonna remember you in the next five years. Because you you had an opinion. I have opinions about a lot of stuff. I have opinions about everything that goes on in my human life. I have an opinion about having to go to school tomorrow. I don't want to go to school tomorrow. That's my opinion. I, I, my opinion is I feel like we should have, we shouldn't, every, every single school in America should just cut Fridays out of school. I have school Monday through Thursday, like they did at the last school I was at, and have longer hours, have an hour more, have an hour longer school year, or school day, so instead of starting at 7, and then you got 2.40, you start at 7, and end at 3.40, each class is 15 minutes longer, or 10 minutes longer, however, yeah, 10 minutes longer, and now guess what? You 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 literally have solved that problem, and now kids get longer weekends, more time to rest, right? Because they could rest on Friday, party on Saturday, rest on Sunday. Now they're fully rested for school. But instead, what do they do? They have school on Fridays. But I'm not gonna sit up here and argue with another with the superintendent of my school or of my school district. About why they why why he should do why he shouldn't do that because at the end of the day he's a grown man what about like arguing with him for y'all are grown y'all are grown ups bro y'all are y'all, these are the people that are supposed to be ruling our world that's supposed to be the presidents and, and, and the leaders of the world the the the, the, the political leaders and these and all these people want to do is argue instead of fixing problems it's like come on man. It's like I I don't even have any trust or any like I I don't want to be here anymore because it's like or I I don't want to like I I'm not very enthused about having to be on Earth when these people who all they love to do is argue just sit here and they argue instead of fixing problems. And sometimes arguing is good, right? Arguing your point is good when it's necessary, when you're asked to do it. Like a presidential election, you have to argue why you should be president. Right? This is your last chance to show people why you should be the ruler of why you should be the why you should make some of the big decisions in in our country. Why you why you should be the person making some of the big decisions in our country. Even though, let's be honest here. And a lot of people don't notice the president doesn't make laws. The president doesn't create laws. He can veto a law. He could be like a like like let's Congress. Congress is the people that make laws. And the judicial system is the people that approve laws. Right? The president, all he can do is Congress says, A, we want a law where all pencils have to be colored red. President says veto. And then Congress can vote again 
And if they get the same amount of votes, I think it's like 13 votes, 13 yeses out of 24 people, 24 people. So if you get 13 yeses again, let's so say you get 13 yeses on, on all color, on all pistols can be color red, president vetoes, 13, 13 yeses again, 13 yeses again. The president can't veto again. The, the, he, now the law goes to the judicial system, and the judicial system either says yes or no. The, the Supreme Court is either going to say yes or no. So, but a lot of people put a lot of stuff on the president. Or in real life, the president is the is the face of the country. But you don't see the president arguing with Congress about why. Oh, y'all shouldn't vote for it. Like, no. It's super simple. 13 yeses. Veto. Either people are going to change their mind and be like, oh, you know what? Maybe maybe they shouldn't be red. And then they're going to be like, the, the now it's going to be like 13 no's, 11 yeses, and now they can't do it. Or it's going to be 13 or it's going to be 13 yeses again, and is is, is going to just be passed up to the Supreme Court, who have the final decision in saying yes or no. If the Supreme Court says no, hey, color pens, uh, pencils are the same color. If Supreme Court says yes, hey, pencils are now red, and everybody and they start and now people have to issue red pencils. But it's no arguing that situation. It's no argument. It's no argument. But people will get on the internet. Like I seen this one girl named Ah, oh, I forgot her name. I think it's like E Kane. E Kane. E Kane. Yeah, E Kane. And she sits on here and, and like her and her baby daddy, who I think his name is Chris, they they get on the internet. Right? And this E Kane girl, she didn't grow a following. Right? People think she attractive. People think she's she funny, right? She good she didn't grow a following. And she she has children. And she has a baby daddy named Chris. And she puts a relationship online. And it's like Okay. Like this is like you see couples online all the time. Right? There's couple videos, pranks, and stuff like that. You see couples all, all, all online all the time. But then her baby daddy starts exposing her and they start arguing through videos and arguing through TikTok lives, which if y'all don't know, TikTok lives, people can give you money. So instead of them sitting face to face in front of each other, like like the grown adults that they are, they're going to sit here on TikTok lives where people can give them money and make money off of this situation, off of him not being able to see his kids and him being the better parent and her being the worst parent and her be just being on social media. And it's like, so instead of y'all going out and actually being parents and being adults and, and raising those kids together and, or co-parenting, excuse me, what y'all going to do is instead you're going to sit here in my face and all these people faces and you're gonna argue over tiktok live where people can give you money instead of arguing face to face with each other over or not even arguing having a civil conversation don't even argue have a civil conversation about why about about your differences and come together and co-parent and be like, okay, well, I feel like you should do this. And I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I know that you like, you're the, you're, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yada, yada, yada. But I feel like you should spend some more time with our kids. And, you know, maybe I'll go get a job so you can spend more time. You know, so you could take these days off and I'll take these. Like a normal conversation. A normal conversation. Like I said in my last video where I sat down and talked. Communication is key in a relationship. And not just communication. Face-to-face -face communication. Talking to people. Talk to each other. But no. 
What are they going to do? They're going to argue over TikTok Live. They're going to continue to argue over TikTok Live. And then people are going to get tired of them arguing over TikTok Live. And then maybe after people get tired of them, they're going to actually talk it out. Or maybe they won't. And maybe after they, after people get tired of them, they're going to go their separate ways. They're going to continue to argue uh, on TikTok Live. And, and nobody's going to care. It's just how it is. It, it, it's annoying. That's what it is. It's annoying. It's annoying. Y'all see, y'all see how complicated that is. Instead of just like getting on TikTok, getting 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 off TikTok Live, going to her house, going going to where where she lives, and actually talking to her, and, and having a civil conversation together. Y'all wanna y'all wanna argue? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand why adults love to argue so much. I never understand it. I've never understood it. It's like that's the only way they get entertained. And it's the only way they can entertain. From reality TV shows to people arguing on TikTok, that's all adults want to do. They all they all just want to argue. And most children, they don't understand it. Most kids my age, we don't understand it. And we just see these people and we like, <laughs> oh my God, he said this about her, yada, yada, yada. But real life, deep down inside, in the back of our brains, we know this is wrong. And nobody is noticing that these people are being serious. Like, these people are seriously arguing. But they're arguing to get money. Arguing to get money. So congratulations, you just gave them what they want. You look stupid now. They, they're playing you. They're playing you. They're getting what they want. They want money. They want more money. They That's what they want. Money makes the world go round. And money makes people do weird things. And money makes people do evil things. And money makes people do things that, that usually will be out of their character because they need money or they want money or they, you know what I'm saying? They want financial freedom. They'll argue. Instead of getting it the hard way, they'll argue. And they'll, they'll make a quick buck. And they'll be packed out of here in the next three years. And we won't even remember them. If you don't have passion in YouTube, and I'm going to wrap this video up because I've been talking for 30 minutes. But if you don't have passion in what you do on YouTube, if you don't have passion in how you act and if you love to argue on YouTube and you think that's going to have or argue a period on social media and you think that's going to get you to Michael Jackson status or super famous A-list celebrity status newsflash buddy you're going to be packed up in the next five years that's all I have to say though um Good talk, guys. Not for real. Um, so I really want to talk about. It's just been on my mind. And I'm glad I got it out on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. Peace. <laughs>